In this video, I'm going to show you uh, the basics of dashboards inside PowerShell Universal. Dashboards are just websites or web pages that you can create using PowerShell scripts. PowerShell Universal allows you to create uh, websites using multiple frameworks, different versions of PowerShell, and tons of cool controls that you can use inside your dashboards. So to create a, a basic dashboard, you're going to log into your PowerShell Universal admin console and then click Create Dashboard here on the Dashboards page. That's going to bring up a modal that's going to contain some information about your dashboard. The name is just a friendly name that you can uh, use uh, or view inside your dashboard admin console here. So it could just be the, the IT dashboard. The URL is the URL that you're going to actually visit to view this dashboard. So you can either have it at slash dashboard like this, you can name it IT, or you could completely remove it and just have the slash so that when you visit the root of your uh, website, it's actually going to go to this dashboard. You can also specify things like the environment. Um, environments you can kind of think of as PowerShell versions. So in this case, I could select 5.1 or 7.1, um, which are installed on my machine. But you can also uh, customize environments to include things like additional variables and modules and that kind of thing. So you could have multiple environments to select from there. Uh, next, you can select the framework. Uh, by default, we use the latest framework. So whatever the current version is in the current version of PowerShell Universal you're using, it'll use that version. You can also pin to a version. So for example, I have version 2.3.2.3 or 3. Um, 2 .3 installed. Um, and then I also have version 2.9.9 installed. Uh, version 3 is the new version of Universal Dashboard. And uh, version 2 is the previous Universal Dashboard framework that was available in the Universal Dashboard PowerShell module. So that's included for backwards compatibility. Uh, finally, you can set things like authentication, roles, and whether to auto start the dashboard. When I click OK, it's actually going to um, create a new dashboard. And you can see the file it actually created was it.ps1. So in this video, I'll show you exactly where that's located. Um, you can see this dashboard is currently not running, but if I were to click this Start button, it's actually going to start up a PowerShell process based on the environment I selected. So in this case, now we're running inside PowerShell 7.1, and our dashboard is running. If I click View, it's actually going to take me over to my dashboard. And this is our default kind of template dashboard that contains some text and a button that you can actually click. Uh, you can see that we have a dark theme that works automatically, and um, all of this is actually authored with PowerShell script. So if we come back over to our uh, dashboard page, you can click this info button, and that's going to show you uh, the code that's actually making up this particular dashboard. As you can see, there's a couple commandlet calls. We have the new UD dashboard call to actually start the kind of or create the overall dashboard itself. And then within the content block of this dashboard, you can see we have new UD typography to create some text, and then we're creating a button. The button actually specifies an on-click event handler that allows you to execute some script based on when the user actually clicks that button. So in addition to um, these components, there's tons of other components that are available. So here's some examples of some other components that we can um, put on our dashboard. All we need to do is click Edit, add these new um, commandlet calls into the content of our dashboard, and then click Save. What that's going to do is it's actually going to save the it.ps1 script to um, the local folder. And now if we restart our dashboard, you're going to see that the changes are um, taken into account. So now we have a little progress spinner, an icon, a tree view, and even a message box that pops up a toast in the top right here. So pretty much everything that you create inside um, a universal dashboard here is using this type of PowerShell script. We have lots of components, so definitely go over to our docs and check out our component um, kind of information here. So uh, we have inputs, we have feedbacks like you just saw with the progress. We have forms so you can users you can input data, and we have uh, visualizations like charts and maps. So in addition to the kind of built-in components that you get with the framework, you also get components that are available via this component um, page here. So each one of these components is a specific PowerShell module. So we have some built-in components that come with PowerShell Universal. Uh, we have the charts library that includes both the uh, Nevo charts as well as the chart.js charts. We have a code editor that allows you to edit uh, code. It, it's the Monaco editor that you may see. And it's very familiar to one that you use in Visual Studio Code. Uh, we also have a very extensive map component for creating maps with layers and markers and uh, heat maps and all that kind of thing. The other thing that you can do is if you want more components, you can click this Marketplace button here. And uh, there's 
about 100 different components made by um, various um, community members. So you can actually go ahead and uh, view information about these components, install these component components directly from um, inside PowerShell Universal here. And it's actually going to go out to the PowerShell gallery and save these PowerShell modules down so you can start using these new components inside um, your dashboard. Um, in addition to creating kind of basic dashboards, you can actually even get a little more complicated and start to create multi-page dashboards. So if we were to edit this dashboard, and rather than just having a content block, we could actually specify new UD page and create an array of pages um, for our particular dashboard. If I save this dashboard and uh, restart it, now if we click view, you're going to see that uh, I have two pages and the navigation is automatically created. So I can actually switch between these two pages and uh, view the data on those individual pages. So um, all this uh, code that I'm editing is actually being saved to disk um, for um, PowerShell Universal. So PowerShell Universal itself is completely configured with PowerShell script, including the web pages. So if you actually navigate to your program data folder and then go to Universal Automation Repository, you'll see that we have um, some files that have been created here. So the it.ps1 is the one that we've been editing. If you click that, you're going to see the same code that you would see inside PowerShell Universal. And um, inside this .universal folder, you're actually going to see some additional configuration information. So this is kind of the metadata about your particular dashboard. And inside here, you can see that I have new PSU dashboard. I have the name of my dashboard, the file path that refers to the actual content of my dashboard. Uh, the base URL that I visit to actually view this dashboard, uh, what framework I'm using, and the fact that auto start is disabled. So you could actually come in here and um, if you wanted to, you could just change the, the text in here and save it. And if you actually come back into PowerShell Universal, you're going to see that PowerShell Universal will automatically reload those changes. So you don't need to make all your changes inside the web page or anything like that. You can use your favorite uh, PowerShell editor and then edit the PS1 files, and it will be automatically reflected inside PowerShell Universal. If we restart this, since we don't have auto restart on, and I click View, you're going to see that the change I made um, on disk is actually reflected inside my web page. So in that way, uh, PowerShell Universal can kind of resync all those changes to your dashboard, and it's a way to quickly iterate on your dashboard development. So in this video, we went over the basics of PowerShell Universal dashboard inside PowerShell Universal. Uh, you can download PowerShell Universal from our website at ironmansoftware.com downloads.